Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll be solving CSI UGC NET 2019 June a physics problem a 22 out of the 55 problems in the paper. So the problem goes something like this. Consider a classical gas in thermal equilibrium at temperature T1 and T2, where T1 is less than T2. Which of the following graph correctly represent the qualitative behavior of the probability density function of the x component of velocity? Okay, so what are the important uh, points in this question? That is, uh, T2 is greater than T1, okay? And the second thing is, it's the probability density function and the x component of velocity. The first point is that the x component of velocity, so basically Vx, and it can take negative as well as positive value right because it is the vector component of velocity vx and not speed or the modulus of velocity okay that is first point and the second point is if you remember the expression for the distribution function that is the probability distribution function it looks something like this which is uh, f uh, vx equal to m by 2 pi k t exponential v square by 2 k t okay so this is how the expression looks so a few important points from this expression is that uh, by the way if we integrate this equation so basically minus infinity to infinity f of vx dx it will give 1 now if uh, t1 is less than t2 and basically from the expression we can tell that the uh, probability distribution function is symmetric gaussian function right it is proportional to uh, some expression of v square so it is symmetric so uh, v of x is symmetric right and also if uh, you know that for probability distribution uh, density function when the temperature increases the curve flattens right we know that for t1 it's like this when the temperature is a bit higher it's like this and so on so the peak height decreases so for t2 greater than t1 the peak of t2 will be higher uh, sorry the peak of t2 will be less than peak of t1 so these are the two important points. the first point is that the function is symmetric and the second point peak of t1 is greater than peak of t2 and if we take all these points we see that the option c is the correct answer of this question uh, you will see a lot of solution uh, over the internet where they are trying to solve the expression and all but when you are solving mcq problem you do not have that much time to solve and get to the answer you must use your logic so if the question had asked what uh, is the probability density function with respect to velocity or modulus of velocity then maybe option a could be correct because then uh, the negative values of vx would not count so that's it guys i hope that you have understood how to solve this problem uh, if you like this video do give a like and subscribe to this channel i upload physics related videos in this channel thanks for watching and take care